Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm Edwina, and this is my colleague, Jeff, and we are from Arfeg. And Arfeg is a fun foundry of Taiwan, and we've been devoted to uh, the development of Chinese fun for almost 30 years. And today we are glad to be here to share uh, the problems that uh, need to be solved when developing Chinese variable funds. So actually, we have finished uh, two tight phases of uh, uh, Chinese variable fund. And this is Jin Xi Hei. Uh, this is the very first Chinese variable funds. And there are two axes of this tight phase, including weight and width. And we announced it on access prices uh, in July 2017. And this is Fang Xinshu, uh, the uh, design of the design of Fang Xinshu is originated from Jin Xi Hei, but uh, the features of the strokes are different. The contrast of the uh, vertical and horizontal strokes are bigger. And then we have uh, thinner uh, terminals and higher gravity, which make this typeface more elegant. And today I'm going to take these uh, two typefaces as examples to, uh, to do uh, the problems we faced. I think most of you are uh, Latin type designers, so maybe you have no idea like how many Chinese characters we have to create and how massive the data volume is. And for, take GCA for example, uh, for the simplified Chinese character set, uh, GB18030, it contains over 27 Chinese characters and almost 900 symbols. And the data volume of each uh, two Typhon is 8 megabyte. So if we want to uh, make two axes, five weights times four width, uh, 20 fonts in total, that will be 160 megabyte. But if this is an uh, open type variable font, it's only 20 megabyte. So we could see the benefit of variable form. Uh, the data volume will be saved for 87.5%. Uh, but what I'm talking about uh, is only, sorry. Oops. So we will see the average contours of each character of Jin Xi Hei is 17. And then the average points of each character is 85, which means we have to deal with over 28,000 groups, over 485,000 contours, and over 2 million points. And what I'm talking about is only uh, GB18030, the largest simplified Chinese character set. But if you want to support Big Five, the traditional Chinese character set at the same time, there'll be another story. So uh, I will have my colleague Jeff to introduce, uh, to share the experience we have faced when we make those uh, Chinese variable funds. Oh, okay. Uh, how to make such a great amount of Chinese characters? Our fund developing system plays a key role in it. We have been using stroke-based technology for 28 years. There are two important features. One is programmed strokes using the parameters of structure point and stand width to adjust the strokes. The other is using extremes of weight weights interpreted a new instance just like variable funds. We use in the parameters which are mentioned above to interpret. Instead of using Bezier points. After variable fund was announced in Etabai 60, uh, 2016, we have been greatly changed our fund tool and process. 
the block external button that is the latest developing process for Bravefox Fun. Basically, we are there are three new steps. First, in order to bring out the feature of the Velo Fund, we expand the second axis width to each cafes besides the weight is axis, and we developed the condensed fund 80% to 100%, which is most commonly used. Second, the way we create a flow fund masters is almost the same as before, but we need to make all the online points compatible. Third, check and fine tune every interpreted intermediate instance to make sure that it is perfect. Take the development up to Jing Xihe axis, for example, to complete a simplified Chinese font which contains 28,000 Chinese characters. It needs 770 strokes for the stroke library and each four masters of two axes have their own stroke library. To create a variable fun, we have to make sure that all the control points of, of four masters should be compatible. Take the red circle stroke, for example. All 30 characters in the red on the page using the same stroke that I showed on the previous page. The shapes can be changed by setting the different standard width and uh, stand structure points. Applying the same method on the condensed 80%, which can make sure strokes are compatible. Therefore, all the stroke of the same grief are for masters must be one-to-one -one mapping. If we make sure the points of designated strokes in the four master are compatible, then we can interpret the instance. So checking compatibility is the important process that we need to do first in the stroke design phase. This is the function that the Arctic Farmaker offers. The picture shows that the corresponding stops of the two master, the result of the interpolation failed to not display because the curvature marked by the red circle on the right side needs to be shown with two quadratic Bezier curves, while the left stroke only needs one. We need to split the quadratic curve of the left into two curves. After fixing it, we can get the interpolation down. 770 strokes need to be adjusted like this way to create a variable fund. As I mentioned before, when we develop the variable fund, we must in increase the width with axis. So we need to redesign condensed masters. Because the amount of Chinese characters is huge, the easiest way to create a condensed fund is to reduce 20% of the width of the outline by geometrical operations. But this could cause the vertical strokes always too thin and the horizontal strokes look too thick. This is definitely not a design that want. Therefore, we have to redesign the condensed funds. And how to do we how do we do that? There's an easy way by using our fund maker when we set up condensed 80%. The stocks will keep the original thickness. Only some stocks become distorted or the horizontal space becomes smaller. We just need to adjust the thickness of the vertical strokes to avoid a blurry result. This is the example of condensed function shoe. The terminals of vertical strokes are a little bit thinner 
and the ones of horizontal scope are much thinner to increase the contrast and the legibility. Thinner terminals and the higher gravity make the typeface more elegant. Our farm maker can process the thickness of the stocks by batch after setting up the percentage we want to reduce. It serves us a lot of effort to design a high quality font. We have to take care of details. The stocks in a red circle are distorted due to the process of condensing. We have to reprogram the stock to improve the curvature. Left size is the distorted curvature and the right side is after fixed. After developing and the develop and the check and the checking compatibility, we could gen generate We can generate a variable fund. What I talked about in the previous chapter is not the end, but another beginning. What I talked about, the next step is to test something wrong. To test all the axes. For example, this is the extreme of the Jingxi Hei with X is 900. It is good. Another extreme weight 500 is good too. When the intermediate weight 700 was interpreted, the character come, comes out a flaw. To solve this pro problem, we need to go back to our farm maker to adjust the grief in the master. We adjust the position of the connection and back it shorter. And we also adjust another master to make sure the interpolation in any instances is perfect. This is what it looks like after adjustment. But we found a pursuit. This is another issue on the connection. You can see that in the original masters, the stocks are well connected. Theoretically, the stock shouldn't have any chance to be protruded when interpolation. But we found a protruded stock in an interpreted character. We found our fund maker to fix the master, we need to find the stock on the right in the stock library. If we can find one, we will create a new stock to, for, the, for masters. After fixing it, we got the interpretation that we want. Certainly, we have to adjust the stocks in the four master at the same time to make sure the stocks are compatible. In order to comply the prevailing two type applications, we need to interpret 16 instances and remove overlaps from the outline of glyphs. As we know, object removing programs can, could not deal with all the cases. This example shows that an error occurs due to a line connected in the wrong spot. An advanced tool is developed to help designers check in such flows automatically. But eventually, double check with human eyes is necessary. To develop one Jingxi Hei variable fund with two axes, we need to make, we also make 20 pure online two type files have to deal with 560,000 Chinese characters, including the Chinese, traditional Chinese Big Five function shoe. The character count is near 1 million characters. 
Our tool saves a lot of developing time and money by far. However, this is just the beginning. Design more Chinese variable fund is ongoing. We have to keep on developing all kinds of advanced tools to help designers make such huge work easier. Okay, so besides the developing phase, one needs to be solved. At least we see some problems in the support of applications and browsers. So we all know uh, the latest version of Adobe Illustrator have unsupported uh, variable font. But when we try to use the uh, Chinese font on Illustrator and simply just change the weight from a thinner one to a bolder one, it took us 10 seconds. So. Maybe uh, it's still too heavy for the application, but if the problem is not solved, I don't think anybody would like to use it. And besides, uh, for the support of uh, browsers like Chrome, Edge, Safari, and there are more. But uh, take Chrome for example. There is a limitation of the data volume. Uh, the true type files needs to be under 30 megabytes. But if today we want to use more to more than two axes of Chinese font, it will be too easy to exceed the limitation. So what should we do? Uh, we are really looking forward to these problems to be solved because uh, we have the variable font, but there's nowhere to use right now. Nobody can use them right now. So if you're interested in the Chinese variable font, you can check out our website over here. Or if you are interested in the uh, fun tool that uh, Jeff just talked about, you could refer to his talks of Title Labs 2017. Thank you very much.